WUNC TV Channel 4 Chapel Hill. If you're into fun and you love to play, if you like funny jokes, it puts you away. If you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around. And if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool. Ooh, little buddy, you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be. Hey, it's Land Chops, play along. Where kids come to play along and fun things do always end up wrong. Hey, it's Land Chops. Come join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. Make a muscle, squeeze it tight. Really squeeze with all your might. Now the other arm. Let me see just how strong you've grown to be. Make two muscles left and right. Come on and pump it up. Out of sight. Hey, you're getting strong. Now let's go back to this song. Lamb chops, play along with kids. Come to play along in fun things that all we ever do. Yeah, it's lamb chops, play along. Join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Yeah, and especially you. My father taught me how to do this trick when I was just about your age. And how old are you? Yeah, isn't that a coincidence? That's how old I was. Yeah, and when you do this trick, you are going to amaze your mother and your father. You need a quarter. You can borrow a quarter. You don't have to have your own. And a pack of cards. You put the quarter down on the table. You cover the quarter with the pack of cards. And you say, presto changeo, and... <gasps> Look, the quarter has turned into a penny. Is that an amazing trick? Yay! Well, it's not so amazing if you know how the trick was done. Okay, how did I turn a quarter into a penny? There's the quarter. It got stuck to the back of the pack of cards because what I did was I put double face tape, sticky tape, on the back of the pack. So the quarter stuck. And when I started, I started with the penny hidden behind the quarter. You see, a penny is not only less than a quarter, a penny is smaller than a quarter. So I put the penny and the quarter down on the table, and nobody could see the penny because it was under the quarter. I covered it with the sticky part of the pack, and I went, presto changeo, and the quarter turned into the penny. Did you get it that time? It's the easiest way I know to turn a quarter into a penny. And it's a wonderful trick unless your parents do it with your allowance, in which case it's a crummy trick. Oh. <laughs> if ever you're so out of touch, you can feel your ears begin to smoke. You can put out the flame, play in the game, or tell yourself a joke. Would you like a policeman's cookie? Uh, uh, would I like a policeman's cookie? What is a policeman's cookie? A cupcake. A cupcake? <laughs> I get it. Here is there, here is there. People are forever going here to stay. It would be fun to see all the ways that you can get from here to there. You can walk here to there. Everybody walk. I wanna see you walking. Everybody walk. You can hop here to there. Everybody hop. Everybody hop. Until we gotta stop and you can skip here to there Skip, skip, skip Have you ever taken such a happy trip? You can skip here to there And I'd like to say If you've never done it well There is no nicer way for traveling here to there Here to there People are forever going here to there
it would be fun to see all the ways that you can get from here to there. You can march here to there. Everybody march. Huh, two, three, four. Everybody march. You can prance here to there. Everybody prance. Little steps, that's the way you prance. You can dance here to there. Everybody dance, everybody dance, 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 dance. You can dance here to there. And I'd like to say, if you've never done it, well, there is no nicer way for traveling here to there. Here to there. People are forever going here to there. It can be. To see all the ways that you can get from here to there. You can swim here to there. Everybody swim. Left hand, right hand. Everybody swim. You can fly here to there. Everybody fly. Everybody floating right across the sky. Crawl here to there. Everybody crawl. Let me see you crawling wall to wall. You can crawl here to there. And I'd like to say, if you've never done it, well, there is no nicer way for traveling here to there. Here to there. People are forever going here to there. It can be fun to see all the ways that you can get from here to there. Lamb chop? Uh? Are you biting your nails? Uh-huh. Hey, stop! Uh? Let me see. Uh-uh. Come on. Uh-uh. Come on. Gucci, Gucci. Ah. Uh. Oh, lamb chop. Uh, look at those nails. Now, come on. Look closely. Now, don't they look terrible? Oi, is that better? Lamb chop, they're all bitten. Well, I didn't finish yet. Lamb chop, you gotta stop. Ah, oh, now come on. Come on, come on. Say to yourself, I promise. I promise. I will not bite my nails anymore. I will not bite my nails anymore. Anymore. I promise. I promise. Promise. I promise. Okay, okay, okay. Now, <laughs> hey, what is this? You promised. That was one more for good luck. Come on, honey, come on. Just say to yourself, I won't bite my nails. I won't bite my nails. You won't bite your nails. You won't bite your nails. No, I won't. I. I won't bite your nails. I won't bite your nails. No, your nails. You. You won't bite my nails. You won't bite... No, you won't bite your own nails. Whose nails am I going to bite? Sweetheart, I'm not going to bite somebody else's nails. <laughs> 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 Give me a knock-knock joke. Don't knock a knock-knock joke. They're always dumb. So tell me how come... One of laugh or bubble up After four I always double up Don't be an old slow poke Give me a knock knock joke Please Knock knock Who's there? Danielle 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 who? Danielle at me I heard you the first time <laughs> That was a knock knock joke I love a knock knock joke They can be awful It's true Still I'm telling you I love a knock knock Joke. Sherry, 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 what do you care if Lamb Chop bites her nails? Sweetheart, they're her nails. Yes, but hi there. Hi there. We were just talking about your nail biting. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I don't do that anymore. What? I stopped. You stopped? How did you stop? <laughs> Will power. Uh, Charlie has passed me a hot dog. Uh, wh- what do you call those? Will power. They look more like mitts to me. Yeah, but they keep me from biting my nails. Yeah, well, you've got to take them off in order to eat dinner. Oh, no, I don't... Oh, come on, Lamb Chop. Give it a try. Okay, honey, I'm sure that you can get through a meal without them. Oh, that feels great. 
This is a game called Blow Man Blow. And it's a nice game that you play with just bits of newspaper. You tear bits of newspaper into little one-inch squares. I mean, it doesn't matter how big they are. Teeny, weeny little pieces of paper. And you put about two dozen into each paper cup. There they are in the paper cup. And you don't pack them down. Robin was starting to touch it, and that's why I said don't touch, because if you pack it down, the game won't work. And what you do is you blow into the cup. And the aim of the game is to blow all your papers out of the cup and be the first one to have an empty cup. But anybody who dumps the stuff out isn't the winner. You understand that, don't you? Okay, are you ready? Are you ready, Daniel? Yes. Are you ready, Natasha? Are you ready, Tasia? How about you, Robin? Perfect. Here we go. <laughs> ready, set, blow, man, blow! <laughs> Oh, darn. One more. Oh. Oh, I can't get out. I have an empty cup. Oh, you're doing well. Come on. Oh, you've got an empty cup. <laughs> They're too busy to give us a hand. You at home, come on, give us a hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but Johnny Horse, how does this hypnotistist stuff work? Well, uh, you put the, the uh, person to sleep, and then while they're relaxed, you uh, tell them what they should do. Oh, and, and do you really know how to do it? Oh, <laughs> I'm an expert. Well, how'd you get to be an expert? I saw it on television once. Oh, well, then you is an expert, yeah. Okay, now, why don't you go get the victim, uh, the um, patient? Oh, and uh, who's the patient? Lamb chop. Oh, okay. Uh, Charlie Hulls? Yeah. What do I do? You're going to be the hypnotist's assistant. Oh, and what do I do? Your job is to sit over there and um, keep your mouth shut. You think I can do it? Oh, sure. Why not? Well, I've never been a hypnotist's assistant before. Yeah, well, <laughs> I got faith in you. Oh, well, good. Let me, let me just get this straight. I sit over there, and I keep my mouth shut. That's right. Oh, wow, we you really trust me, don't you, Jelly Hoss? Yeah, right, right, right. Go get Lamb Chop. All right, Lamb Chop, Jelly Hoss is ready for you. Hiya, Jolly Horse. Okay, Lanchelf. Now, hiya, 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 hiya. Now, just stretch out on the sofa and make yourself comfortable. Are you watching, Hush Puppy? I'm doing my part. I'll sit right here and keep my mouth shut. Boom. Okay, okay, Jolly Horse. Is this going to hurt? Hurt? No. How am I doing, Jelly Horse? Well, you were doing fine until you opened your mouth. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot. Yeah, well, you do have a lot to remember. All right, Lancha, look deep into my eye. Okay, yes, Charlie Horse. Call me Master. Yes, Master. Look into my eyes. Deeper. Look deep into my eyes. Yes, Master. Deeper. Deeper. Closer. Closer. Oh, you is good, Jolly Horse. What are you doing here? Oh, I just, I just, oh, it's so good. I just had to see it. You're supposed to be sitting over there. Oh, I'm sorry. I blew it. I blew it. I'm supposed to be sitting over there and keeping my mouth shut, right? Yeah, right. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Yeah, I thought they go practice. Okay, is this going to take a lot longer? Do you want to stop biting your nails or not? Yes, I do. Okay, then concentrate. I'm consecrating. Master. Master. You're getting sleepy. Very sleepy. I'm very sleepy. <sighs> Charlie Horse? What? I forgot to kiss you good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, you're getting sleepy. Very sleepy. Very, very sleepy. Yes. You are falling asleep. Deep asleep. You are sleeping. <laughs> A deep sleep, you will never bite your nails again. Hey. 
It's betcha time, it's betcha time, and though I've never met ya, I know some things you can't do. I betcha, betcha, betcha. I'll teach ya how to do what I propose. Ready, set, here goes. This is my book on rope tricks, and I learned a rope trick in it that I'm going to teach to you. And since it's a rope trick, I'm going to do it with a rope. Now, this is a rope. And you can do this trick with a rope or with a ribbon or with um, a piece of string. You lay it down and you say to your friends, I betcha that I can grab hold of the ends of this rope and tie a knot without letting go of the ends. And then your friends will grab it and they'll try all of this and all of that. Oh, I've seen them do it. Not your friends, but mine. And then you say, here's how you can grab the ends of a rope and tie a knot without letting go of the ends. Have you figured it out? No? Here's how you do it. You fold your arms, and in one hand you grab one end, and in the other hand you grab the other end. And then you unfold your arms, and you've made a knot without letting go of the ends. The reason you're able to do it is because you actually fold the knot in your arms, and when you grab it, you transfer the knot from your arms to the rope. That's a good trick. Is it not? You'll get a lot of laughter, I've no doubt. I bet you if you'll only try it out. Hey, 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 that was great, Charlie Horse. Oh, no, it was nothing, really. No, 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 it was something. I mean, Landshark doesn't bite her nails anymore. Yeah, now you could take me any place. Yes, I do hope you have a way to wake up, hush puppy. Oh, yeah, I have a special... Post-hypnotic technique for that. Wait, I'll show you. All right. Oh, golly gee. I wonder what the special technique for waking up hush puppy is going to be. Watch this. Get up! <laughs> oh, hi, Charlie Hobbs. How do you feel? Oh, I feel great. Oh, hmm. Hey, is uh, dinner ready yet? No, not yet. A few minutes. Oh, that's all right. I can wait. Oh, no. Now, Hush Puppy is biting his nails. Hey, Sherry, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> Here, have a bite. Lamb chop, lamb chop. Stop! What are you doing banging on that piano? I'm not banging, I'm playing. No, 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 no. That's not playing. Well, I'm trying to find the right notes. What do you mean? I want to sing a song and I can't find the notes that I need. Lamb chop, no, 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 no. The best way to find the notes that you need is to make friends with the note. How do you make friends with a note? Friends or no, it's amazing how much they can do. First they give you a way to say things you must say, and they're wonderful company too. Some of my best friends are no, and if making new friends is your aim, why the way you make friends with a beautiful note is you stand up and sing it by name. Sing do. Ray, Ray, me, me, fa, fa, do, Ray, me, fa, do, Ray, me, fa, fa, me, Ray, do, fa, me, Ray, do. And with that, you can honestly say, I've made four brand new friends. Friends or notes, any time I get sad or depressed, I will pick up and go to some notes that I know, and I'm suddenly back at my best. Some of my best friends are notes, and I'm not overstating my claim when I say to make friends with a beautiful note, you just stand up and sing it by name. Sing so. 
tell a story and all of you at home can join in and share this story with me because all of us are going to play together in this story I'm gonna leave out a word or two or three and when I do I'll look up and you can shout out the missing word along with all the kids here okay <laughs> now in this story of Goldilocks and the three bears, bears, bears. there's a papa bear a mama bear. And a yogi bear. No, no, no. <laughs> and a baby bear. Did you get that? Did you say baby bear? Good. Yeah. Good, okay. And the three bears live together in the forest in a cute little condominium. No. <laughs> what do you mean a condominium? A condominium is an apartment that you buy. Well, at any way, they lived in this house, you know. And one day for breakfast, Mama Bear made some delicious pancakes with syrup and no. <laughs> No, no, no. What did she make? What did she make? What did porridge. She make? Porridge. The mama bear put the porridge cereal on the table, but it was so <laughs> hot. I like pancakes better. Yeah, well, no, no, no. <laughs> Papa bear said, hey, guys, let's go for a walk in the forest while the porridge cools down. And so they did, right? And while they were gone, a little girl who was lost, came to the house, and her name was... Goldilocks! No, Goldyface! <laughs> no, not Goldilocks! Goldilocks! No, wait a second, Goldie Bagels. No, 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 no. Goldilocks! Goldilocks, well, there's close locks, bagels. Okay, okay. She was tired, and she was hungry, and she walked up to this house, and she said, I'll help, and I'll puff, and I'll no. go. <laughs> No, she not. Yeah, long story, sorry. And when nobody answered, Goldie faces knock. <laughs> she opened up the door and she walked into the story. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> she walked into the house. Right. And on the table she saw three bowls of popcorn. 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 And since she was hungry, she tasted the first bowl of porridge, but it was too hot. Did you get hot? The second bowl of porridge was the opposite of the first. It was too cold. cold. And the third bowl was just rotten. No, no, it wasn't rotten. The it's third... just right. Just right. And so you know what she did? She ate it all up. You're right. <laughs> then Goldilocks walked into the living room and she saw three chairs and she decided to redecorate. No. <laughs> she decided sit. to sit in them. That's right. And the first chair was too big. Too big. And the second chair was too expensive. No, no, no. no. Too small. <laughs> That's right. Small is the opposite of big. Oh, yeah. But Goldilocks sat in the third chair and it was just That's right. Just but, right. But she was too happy. Well, eating all that porridge, I'm not surprised. And she broke the third chair. She was so heavy, she flattened it into a pancake. And speaking of pancakes... <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Goldilocks realized that the excitement of eating the porridge and breaking the chair had made her so tired. Oh, made too tired. Oh. <laughs> and so she decided to take a nap. Me too, nap. Yes. When she's done, I hope she puts the nap back because it's not nice to take things. She just, you don't take Daddy. something when you take a nap. Anyway, in the bedroom, Goldilocks saw three beds. The first bed was too hard. hard. And the second bed, what, what's the opposite of hard? Too soft. Soft is the opposite of hard. And the third bed was just right. And Goldilocks fell in love. No. no. <laughs> Who did she fall in love with? Did the three beds? They didn't come home yet. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. napping. Napping, yeah, okay. <laughs> she lay down and she fell asleep. And as soon as she did, who should come home from their walk but 
the three little pigs. No. <laughs> no, that's fair. No, the three Billy Goat Squirrels. No. No, the fair. No, the three Musketeers. No. <laughs> Who came home from the walk? The, the bears. The bears, right. And when they saw their front door open, weren't they surprised? And on the table in the kitchen were the three bowls of porridge. And Papa Bear said... Who's been eating my porridge? And Mama Bear said... Who's been eating my porridge? Who's been eating my porridge? And the baby bear said... Somebody's been eating my porridge and it's all gone. They ate it all up. Boy, is he lucky. Now he can have pancakes and bacon. No, no, no. No. <laughs> They went into the living room and they saw the chairs. And Papa Bear said... Someone's sitting in my bed. You betcha. And Mama Bear said... Somebody's been sitting in my chair. And Baby Bear said... Somebody's been sitting in my chair. And he broke it all to pieces. And then the three little bears went into the bedroom. And Papa Bear said... Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And Mama Bear said... Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And Baby Bear... Bear said, and listen to her snore. No. <laughs> Baby Bear said, there she is. And at that moment, Goldilocks woke up. And she saw the bears. And she didn't know how friendly they were, you know. And so she jumped out of bed. And she ran out of the bedroom. And she ran out of the house. And she ran out of the forest. And I just ran out of the story. That's it? Except for the part about... Happily ever after. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Oh, no. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. That's enough, guys. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. How do I turn you off? Yes, it goes on and on. I want you to go away. Go away. And don't slam the... Door. Funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. This is PBS.